The Buffalo Bisons traveled on the road this past week and came out with a series victory. With this road trip recap presented by Student Transportation of America, I'm Pat Malacaro. The Herd returns home after taking four out of six from the Columbus Clippers last week, and it was the Arelvis Martinez show at Huntington Park putting on one of the more prolific offensive performances we've seen in recent memory for the Buffalo Bisons, hitting five home runs and collecting a total of 13 RBIs in the six-game set. Buffalo would drop the opener of the series to the Clippers 7-4, to four, but not for the efforts of Damiano Pomagiani, drawing four walks in the game. Also, Leo Jimenez, a pair of base hits for Buffalo, and the Herd would fall in the opener, but then Martinez went to work in Game 2. It was a 12-9 extra inning victory for Buffalo, in which the Herd would score first. They would strike first in all six games of the series. In fact, Spencer Horwitz, four runs scored on the game. Edison Barger, a two-for-five day at the plate with two doubles and three RBIs. Three more RBIs for Pomagiani as well, but in extra innings, in what was thought to be the longest home run hit in the StatCast era of minor league baseball, Arelvis Martinez, 469-foot grand slam off the building out of the second deck at Huntington Park was the difference in the game. It would be his first home run of the series and the first of three what would be go-ahead home runs in the late innings for Buffalo, again in a 12-9 victory in which Mason Fluharty would pick up the win his second of the season. The Bisons used a bullpen game started by Nick Fraze, who would pick up a strikeout in his three innings of work, and then Buffalo would secure the win in extra innings. They would pick up a victory the next night as well, and again, it was late-game offense for the Herd. Three solo home runs in the victory. Peyton Henry won in the seventh inning, and then two more for Buffalo in the ninth. Stuart Barroa connected on his first of the season, and Martinez, second in as many nights for the Herd, was a ninth-inning home run off of former buys and Anthony Ghost. It would propel Buffalo to an 8-7 victory, having trailed 7-6 to six going into the ninth. Buffalo scored the final two runs of the game, making a winner out of Andrew Bechtold in his Bison's debut, won one inning in relief. The former position player turned pitcher, recorded a strikeout, and also picked up his first win with the Herd. Buffalo would drop the next game of the series, but get right back in the win column the final two days. It would be a 5-3 victory on Saturday afternoon for the Bisons as they would take down the Clippers again. Hagen Danner notched his second win of the season, and Zach Pop in maybe his most dominant performance of the year, touching the mid to upper 90s with his sinker, would eventually help lead the Bisons pitching staff to the victory. A couple of more home runs for Buffalo, including Brian Servin, the newest member of the herd on the first pitch he saw, clubbed a two-run home run early in the game in the second inning. That gave the herd a 2-0 advantage at the time. Eventually, Addison Barger would hit a home run in the top of the ninth to cap off the scoring and give Buffalo that 5-3 victory. And then on Sunday afternoon, the bats were in full display for the herd. 17 total hits in what was a lopsided 16-4 getaway day for Buffalo. There were a multitude of multi-hit performances. Spencer Horwitz going 4-6 of six with three RBIs and Aravis Martinez connecting one more time. This time, over the batter's eye in straightaway center field for his fifth home run of the series and delivering Buffalo what was that 16-4 win. Luis Quinones notched his third victory of the season in two and a third innings of relief. Also, Andrew Bash made his second start of the series going four frames for Buffalo in a no decision. For Aravis Martinez, he went 10-28 of 28 in the series, good for a 357 batting average, five home runs, 13 RBIs, and now the number two prospect in the Blue Jay organization at number 81 out of the top 100, according to MLB Pipeline, is riding a 15-game hitting streak for Buffalo, in which he is hitting 361 here in the month of April. The Bisons return home this Tuesday evening to host the Iowa Cubs for a six-game series, the only six visits to downtown Buffalo for the AAA affiliate of the Chicago Cubs and in longtime American Association, now international league rival in downtown Buffalo. Plenty of great promotions include Tuesdays at the ballpark on Tuesday night, Good Neighbors Wednesday on Wednesday for that 6.05 first pitch, also a Honda Friday night bash for trivia night, also a 6.05 start time, and then matinees Saturday and Sunday, 105 first pitches conclude with a family fun day Sunday where kids can run the bases postgame presented by Platter's Chocolates. For this road trip recap presented by Student Transportation of America, I'm Pat Melicaro.